happy Wednesday! It's another Kids on the Rock Wednesday, and I'm so excited! What? Are you excited as I am? I hope so. If not, I need you to do some like running, run some laps, do some jumping jacks, Whew. get pumped, get ready, cause we're gonna praise Jesus! That's my favorite part of hanging out with you guys, even when we're not in person, is praising Jesus, because we can all do that together. We can all sing really loudly together so that he can hear us. Are you ready? We're gonna do some older VBS songs. Super excited, super pumped. Here we go. Get up off your feet, by the way. Off your feet. Off. On your feet, not off your feet. Get out of your seat and on your feet. <laughs> to my lighthouse. Maybe. Maybe. And now. <laughs>
something about Jesus <laughs> so our story today is all about friends that's right friends right now I want you to close your eyes and I want you to picture your friends say out loud what their names are I have a friend named Megan and I have a friend named Amanda and they're my two best friends who are your best friends can you picture them can you see them Sometimes right now it's hard to think about friends, right? Because we get we can't see them in person, but we still get to talk to them, right? Now, in our story, Jesus, he makes an unusual friend. And by unusual, I mean this person was an outcast. An outcast is someone who doesn't fit in. Someone who has a hard time making friends. That kind of stinks, right? But Good note, remember I already said, Jesus befriends him. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Sometimes people are outcast because of the way they look or maybe how they dress or how they act. In our story today, there's a man named Matthew and he is an outcast because of his job. You see, his job was being a tax collector and tax collectors they were known back then to be thieves, to steal, because they would often take more money than they were supposed to and keep that extra to themselves. That's stealing, guys. Would you guys want to be friends with someone who would do that? Shout it out loud. I wouldn't, right? That would be really hard being friends with somebody who was a thief. Usually, it's people acting um, it's people who leave someone out who are being the mean ones, right? If you see somebody who doesn't have anybody to play with and then you just like walk away from them. That's kind of mean. But in this case, it was actually Matthew who was mean, right? He is a bit of a, a, bit of a bully taking people's money. That's, that's stealing. But even so, Jesus invited him to be his friend. In the Bible, we're going to look in the book of Matthew, which is the first book of the New Testament, which means it's in the back of the Bible. 
right? It means Jesus is in it, obviously, because we already said Jesus was in it. <laughs> and in the book of Matthew, chapter 9, boop, right there, we're going to go to Jesus Calls Matthew, right there. Here's what it says. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at his tax collector's booth. Follow me and be my disciple, Jesus said to him. So Matthew got up and followed him. Wow, that was easy, right? He must have been pretty lonely, just sitting at his tax collector booth. Nobody really wanted to befriend him because of his job. But here was Jesus who said, come on, let's go hang out. And so he went immediately. Making friends isn't always that easy, right? Think about a time that you met one of those friends that you just shouted out their names. How did it go? Was it easy like that? Did you guys get stuck together and not like each other at first? Tell me your story right now, go. So making friends is really fun, I think. It's hard, but it's really fun because look what you get in the end. I bet that friend you just told me about is a really good friend and you're happy now that all of that happened so that you could be friends. One of my best friends, Amanda, I met her in college and we got stuck in a room together and we just were not sure about each other because we were so different. But as we started doing projects together and activities together, we found out that we're actually really good friends and I'm still friends with her. It's fun to hang out with friends. And actually that's what Matthew and Jesus did after Jesus was like, hey, let's go hang out. Of course they hung out. Jesus went to dinner with Matthew and not just with Matthew, but then he invited people that Matthew knew, other tax collectors, other people, to this dinner so that Matthew wasn't just him and Jesus. It was Jesus making friends with Matthew and other people that Matthew could get along with, other people that Matthew would become friends with. In the Bible, it says, Matthew invited Jesus and his disciples to his home as dinner guests, along with many tax collectors and other sinners. Very important, other sinners, people who did wrong things on purpose. But not everybody thought that this was a great idea, right? So we're talking about sinners, which means people who did wrong things, but that's us too, right? We all do wrong things. So I have this person here, and I want you guys to go get a piece of paper and maybe some scissors and something to write with. Go, go, go. Did you grab them? Okay. Now, you have two choices. You can either cut out a person out of your paper to make it a little bit more fun. I did it because I, I can't cut a board, and if I did paper, it would be too small for you guys to see. So cut out a person if you want to, or if you don't want to, you can just draw a person on a piece of paper, like this lovely being right here. <laughs> Go ahead and pause the video if you need some time to do this. All right. Now, what we're going to do is I want you to think of some sins, some things that people do, including us, <laughs> that are bad and we do them on purpose. So I'm going to start us off with, and we're going to just write them all over the people. I'm going to start off with lying. Yeah, lying's a big one. Um, stealing, because that's what... Matthew did. Stealing sounds really bad and sometimes we think that we don't steal, but have you ever taken that cookie that mom and dad were like, you can't have this and they weren't looking so you took it or a piece of candy or bubble gum or something? That's stealing. What about, hmm, what about saying mean words? That's bad. We learned that last week, right? So we're going to do saying mean words. Have you thought of other ones? I want you to think of some on your own as well. So go ahead, take this time to think of some more 
things. Go ahead. Okay. Do you guys have a bunch? So some of the things I wrote, we wrote obviously lying and stealing. I put cheating, saying mean words, hitting, kicking, pushing, and making fun of people. These are all sins, right? Sins that even sometimes we do. And these are the people that Jesus chose to eat dinner with and his disciples chose to eat dinner with. And remember, I said, not everybody was happy about that. Some people were confused and even maybe a little bit angry. Let's see what the Bible says. It says, but when the Pharisees saw this, the Pharisees were like religious leaders. When the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, why does your teacher eat with such scum? Scum, guys. Now they're the ones calling names. That's terrible. But Jesus didn't just let this go. He heard this, and this is what he did. He turned, them and, turned to them and said, healthy people don't need a doctor. Sick people do. Then he added, I have come to call not those who think that they are righteous, but those who know they are sinners. Jesus is saying, if you're sick, you need somebody to heal you. You need a doctor. If you're not sick, you don't need to go to the doctor, right? And Jesus is saying, I'm like the doctor. I don't come for people who already know me, who already are doing well and doing right. I'm coming for the people who are the sinners. I'm coming for the ones who are making bad choices so that they can learn that they're loved and that they can make better choices. That's what Jesus is saying. Pretty cool, right? Jesus not only just made a new friend, Matthew, who was an outcast, but now he's defending him. He's standing up for him. I think that's amazing. Jesus is our friend too. We can see what kind of friend he is by looking at how he treated others right? Using his friendship with Matthew, we can see what kind of friend he is to us and what kind of friend we should be. Jesus hung out with Matthew even though people didn't like him, even though he wasn't popular. Then he defended Matthew when people called him scum. Jesus is a really good friend, and we can learn to be a really good friend just like Jesus. On here, on your papers. I want us to go back to them. You're going to take a different color. If you don't have a different color, it's okay. You can use the same color. And really big, we're going to write friend of Jesus on this person. Ready? friend of Jesus. Because this person, this person, they might have made mistakes. They might have chosen bad choices. But the most important thing about them isn't those choices. It's that they're a friend of Jesus. Jesus is our friend too. Even when we make bad, bad choices, when we make mistakes, even when other people don't want to be our friend, Jesus is always our friend. No matter what people say about us, no matter what flaws we have, we can still be friends with Jesus. And since Jesus shows us what good friends do, he can help us be good friends to others too. He can help us make friends with other friends. Jesus is our friend, so we are good friends to others. We're gonna do an experiment together that I think is kind of cool. You ready? All right, I'm going to prepare and show you everything you need because I want you to try and do this experiment with me. Sound good? All right, guys, are you ready for this experiment? Here is what you're going to need. First, you're going to need an adult to help you. You just are, sorry. <laughs> but second, you're going to need some clear cups. Now, Here's the thing about your clear cups. Make sure they're not glass. 
And if they are glass, make sure your parents or your adult is the one who's handling them so that we don't have any accidents if we drop them and they don't break. But very important, the cups need to be able to be see-through so that you can see what's going on inside the cup, okay? Next, I have a couple of backup cups, just in case. Next, you're going to need a bowl or a pan, something that we can put our cup in in case any kind of mess happens. Deal? Now, you're also going to need food dye. I chose red. You're going to need water. Boom, here's my cup of water. You're going to need dish soap. There's my dish soap. My dish soap is green, which is why I chose red for my food dye. And then, this is the cool part. Things that I have might be different than what you have. And that's okay, because this is an experiment and we're gonna test things out. I have vegetable oil, boom. And I have some dark corn syrup. Ooh, it's so syrupy. <laughs> All right, so that's what I have going on. But if you have other kinds of liquids that you wanna test this experiment with, go for it. This is gonna be super fun and we're gonna see what happens. The first thing we're going, I'm going to pour in is this corn syrup. So I want you to notice all of these are liquids, right? But they're all different. This is a syrup, this is an oil, this is soap, this is water. But we're all going to put them in the same cup and see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna start with my corn syrup. Yay. We're just gonna squirt some in my cup. Not a whole bunch, but enough to get a nice thick layer on the bottom. Yeah. Did you hear that like plop? <laughs> it just went It was really weird. I'm gonna put my corn syrup to the side. Can you guys see the corn syrup layer? Nice little layer of corn syrup. Now I think what I'm going to do next is put some dish soap in. Here we go. Not all of it, just a little bit. Look at that. Now we have two different layers. We have a layer of corn syrup and a layer of dish soap. Hmm. Now, my water is kind of see-through and we won't be able to see it that well when we put it on top, which means that's why we're going to use some food dye. But this is a risk because what if the food dye changes everything to be red? Hmm, let's find out. So I put some food dye in my water. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit with a spoon just to get it all good and red. All right, now we're gonna pour in some water. Here we go. I don't know if you guys saw that when it was pouring, but it went down through at least the dish soap. But look, it came back up. There's still three separate layers. So now we have corn syrup, dish soap, and water. Here comes our last one, vegetable oil. Vegetable oil, vegetable oil. I don't know why, I just decided to make a vegetable oil dance because I feel like vegetable oil needs a dance. Here we go, ooh, this top is a little sticky. How's your layering coming? Last layer. Here goes the vegetable oil. This could all fall through. Remember, we're doing an experiment, which means they don't always work. Let's see what happens when I add vegetable oil to the top of the cup. Oh my goodness. So full. Let's see what happens. Hmm. I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer to you guys carefully because I filled it way, 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 way to the top. 
but check it out. As it settles, we still have all the layers. Corn syrup, dish soap, red water, vegetable oil. Even though it looked like that vegetable oil was gonna mix in with the whole thing, I really thought it was. I thought it was gonna be a failed experiment. It didn't. It all separated. They're all different liquids, but they're all able to be in the same cup together. Now, that's kind of like us, right? We're all different. We all like to do different things and we all like look different and have different houses, but that doesn't mean that we can't all hang out together and have fun. These different liquids are all hanging out together in the same cup. That doesn't mean that they all mix together and now are the same. They're still their different selves, but they can be together. They can still be friends. I told you earlier about my best friend, Amanda. When we met, I thought, we're so different. I can be nice to her, but I don't know if we can be friends, right? We're very different. I don't know how this is gonna work. She liked to stay up really late and go to late classes. I liked to get up early and go to early classes. There were different things we liked to do. I wasn't sure, but we're best friends still. And I wouldn't change a thing about her or our friendship because something that's cool about our friendship is that we're so different. Let's finish this experiment off by one more test. Take a spoon. I know I didn't tell you to grab a spoon. Go grab a spoon. Let's mix it up and see if they remain different or if they just stay together or if they mix together. All right, here we go. Mixing, mixing. All right. What's happening? I'm spilling, that's what's happening. Oh my gosh, guys, we mixed it up. But they still are different. You can still see the black, the green, the red, and the yellow. How crazy is that? That's so cool. How did your experiment go? What kind of liquids work for you? Did you wanna, you can test them out multiple times. What if we had added the corn syrup last? What if we added a different kind of syrup or a different kind of oil. What happens? This is a fun experiment you can keep doing all day. I'm super excited about it. And I want you to remember that just like these little, these little liquids, these liquids are different. That doesn't mean they can't hang out together. We can be friends with other people even when they're different, just like Jesus did. Learn by doing what Jesus did. Jesus was an amazing friend. He is an amazing friend to us and we can be that kind of amazing friend to others. I hope you guys have a great week. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for doing a science experiment with me. Even though I made a little bit of a mess here, it's okay, messes are fun. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Oh, I will not see you guys next week. So we're taking a week break from Kids on the Rock. We'll be back together the week after with hopefully a special surprise. I'm excited about it. You'll see what it is. I won't see you next week, but have a great two weeks. I'll miss you so much. And just because we're not hanging out through YouTube, I still think you can go back and worship. Yeah, yeah. You can just like go back to this one next week. Rewind, like you don't, not rewind it. Why would you rewind it? There's no, <laughs> go back to this video next week. Watch the worship and do the worship so that you're still remembering to praise God. Until two weeks. <laughs> Have a great time. Keep safe, keep healthy, and I love you guys. Bye.